Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, I hope everybody's good out there in good um, health and mental space. If not, just take some time out for yourself because we definitely need it right now. Today I am going to do an ankle braid. So I did one about a year and a half ago on FISA. Um, you know, not Fisa Williams for the Shadow and Act Award. And I mean, it got more likes than any other hair picture I've ever posted. So I kept saying I was going to do a video on this and I never did. So we are going to do it today on Chastity. So this is my electric hot comb. I love this little thing. I will put a link for it in the box below if you want to grab yourself one. It's just so much more convenient than a big old stove and a hot comb. And I am just getting her edges silky. Next, I'm going to go in and I am going to press her hair. I'm going to do it kind of like larger sections. I'm not going to like, you know, do too much. But I'm going to press it because we want her ponytail to be super slick. It is totally okay to do what you want to do. Um, I personally, depending on the hair texture, sometimes I press my hair for a pony. Sometimes I don't. So it's totally your decision. So we want a super slick pony, so we're going to go with the heat today. I am using my 22 Titania iron. I mean, I'm picking emails, comments, everything about these irons. Trust me, I'm going through so much with, you know, delivery and Corona. And <laughs> now we having a little low key civil war. I don't know. The irons are taking forever to get to me. And I promise you guys, as soon as I get them, you will know. Um, it won't be long though. They are literally almost here. So look out for my posts. So if you are not new to my channel, Chastity should look familiar to you because a year and a half ago we cut her hair into a bob. And then she came back six months later and I cut her hair again. So this is all of the growth from her bob that I did. And what's funny is the second time I cut it, I cut it even shorter than the first time. So I'm going to put a little reminder video up here so you can see how much her hair has grown since then. Woo wee! <laughs> I don't know, this might make her want to cut it again. I mean, yikes. I mean, geez, it was beautiful. Yes. So yeah, this is a reminder of who Chastity is, okay? And remember, I was nervous. We were both nervous, like, we hoped that she didn't lose her supermodel jobs because of that cut. But she actually ended up booking more things with her bob. So, that's the update on Chastity. Now, although her hair grew back and she also has regained her curl pattern, she has not been getting her ends trimmed. So this is what her ends look like. They are really bad. And what's funny is I cut her hair in an angle so it almost looks like it's growing like that back. So I'm not going to cut them today because with the braid, I don't want her blunt ends poking out of the braids. But once I do her hair again, I'm going to cut it right about here. Get it even. Now, 
now that she's silky straight, I'm going to take some Shine and Jam. Now, y'all know I usually use Murray's. But today, I was like, let me use some Shine and Jam. And it was only $4. So, I like to use different things on my channel to help you guys see what you can use too instead of always using the same thing so usually when i use shine and jam um i use the yellow one but this time i decided to go with purple because i'm like it doesn't need to be super firm i just got the regular hole so what i like to do for ponytails is part the hair into three sections uh, I like to do this because when I just try to swoop all the hair into one ponytail at a time without putting a little product in the middle, I kind of end up with like a lumpy foundation and it's harder for me to get the hair to be slick and laid. So I started doing it in sections so that each section has its own product to hold it down. One thing I really like about Shine and Jam is that when it comes time to shampoo the hair, it comes right out with no problem. Murray's, it takes a little extra uh, oomph to get that wax out of your hair, you know what I mean? It is pretty much weighed down, especially if you're going to wear your hair out. So Shine and Jam comes right out with the first and second shampoo. As you can see, I'm not using a ton of product. I'm not using the whole jar. I'm just putting a little bit on the tip of the comb and just putting it exactly where I need it. So try not to use too much product because you don't want to end up building it up. And with this, a little goes a long way because if you use too much, it'll end up being super greasy. And you don't want to be tearing up the pillowcases, girl. When it's time to do the top, you can do whatever you want. You can like swoop the edges a little bit, um, put a part in the middle, part on the side, whatever you want to do. Do a straight back, but I just decided to kind of give it a tiny bit of swoops on the edges, but not baby hair, baby hair. That's another pro about Shining Jam. It can serve as edge control too. So, per usual, I never missed the opportunity to tell y'all not to use rubber bands on your hair. Use ponytail holders without metal clasps. They will both break your hair off, rubber bands and metal. So, you don't want to use that. Just use something normal. Like, you can get these from Goody, Annie. You can get these at the drugstore, beauty supply, whatever. Just do whatever you can to make sure that your hair is in the healthiest state. Next for the braid, we are going to use the Rasta Afri Rapunzel 84 inch Kaneka line hair. Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> we are using the 84 inches because duh, it's an ankle braid. Now you can use a regular length one, but then you're going to have to do the feed in method. And I just feel like this is way easier than have to feed in a single braid. What you're going to do is, right now I'm showing you that you just want to lay this hair on top of your pony and you're going to have it much shorter on one end than the other 
So you're not going to fold it in the middle. You're going to fold it about three quarters down. And then you're going to take a ponytail holder and you're going to wrap it around the base just like you did your regular ponytail and make sure that your hair is underneath. See how much more shorter the hair is on this side than what she's holding for me? So I would say about three quarters down. Just put it right there on the base of the ponytail and lock her down. Now, sometimes the struggle is really real trying to get that ponytail wrapped around, that ponytail holder wrapped around as many times as you need it. So just take your time because you know braiding hair can get real gangster on you and you don't want to be dealing with that hair getting all frizzy and tangly because sometimes there's no coming back. So just take your time and be patient. And there we have it. And you're gonna just take the rest of the hair and lay it right over top of that. Boom. So this is what it's supposed to look like. The purpose of doing this is so that the base is small like your real hair. Now, of course, we're not necessarily trying to pass this ankle braid for our real hair, but I mean, it can happen, period. <laughs> so I'm just taking some holding spray, well, some free spray, and I'm spraying um, the piece of hair that I just separated from the ponytail because I'm going to use that hair to wrap around the base to cover the ponytail holder. So just take a nice little amount from the shortest side of the hair and just wrap it on around. So I'm just spraying it again with the free spray because one of the luxuries of this hairstyle is you do not necessarily have to have any hairpins. And if you know like I know, not having hairpins is such a good thing because, girl and guys, if you have the wrong hairpin in your head, child, it, <laughs> it will ruin your whole day. Like, I have taken whole ponytails out before professional ones just because it was just this one ignorant as pen harassing my soul so no pen is great and you see how the ends is kind of tattered on here so if you just basically wrap this around and put them tattered ends like all the way at the base as tight as possible and not like hurting tight but you know just wrap it it'll totally hold up in any weather <laughs> you do not need any pins So see how good that looks? I mean, you're not gonna get a much smaller base unless it's your real hair. So here I'm separating the hair into three pieces. Girls and guys, I was so stressed out because the hair was so tangly at first. So I really had to separate it into three pieces and, and take my time, but I cut all of that out. So I'm taking my comb and I'm putting a little shining jam on the tip and I am combing her real hair into the braiding hair. That's gonna help it slick together and, and hold together and it won't be any, 
you know pieces sticking out that's part of the reason why I didn't trim her hair before the braid simply because those blunt ends would have just wanted to make an appearance and you don't really want that you want it to look as seamless as possible Now, everybody's hair isn't necessarily the right candidate for doing it like that. Some people's hair is super short, so you might have to do a bun and attach it like that. So, one day I'll do another braid um, on shorter hair so that you can see how to attach it with the bun. But I really do like it better when you can just braid it into the natural hair because it just looks a lot more natural to me, in my opinion. Now, because we're not feeding any hair in, as you get closer to the bottom, your braid might get a little smaller. So what I'm going to do is any place where it's getting smaller, like right here, I'm just going to pancake it out. And so do, by doing so, it ends up being the same size as it is in the beginning of the braid. Now on the ends, I'm just going to leave those tattered ends there and I'm going to take a little rubber band and I am going to close this braid off. Next, using mousse. This um, is totally optional. You do not have to use mousse. I just feel like it helps smooth the hair a little better after I roll it. And then I'm going to take some flexi rods and I'm going to do about three sections to make the ends of this curly. Now I'm just going to dip the ends in boiling hot water. You might want to use a bowl or a pot, something bigger than this. I was being super lazy and didn't want to bring a pot of boiling water over. So I just decided to put it in a cup. 
and I could have did it all at one time but you know whatever so here we are I'm just showing you how it looks up close and then I am going to take chastity outside so you can really see the full effects of this ankle braid Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> oh, and period. <laughs> okay. Let them know, Chess. I guess this braid isn't really an ankle braid now that I think about it. I mean, the little curls come close to the ankles, but it could have been a tiny bit longer, but you know it really gets in the way <laughs> anyway y'all thank you so much for watching please take care of yourselves and i love you guys today see you next time